Hi friends! Welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany where I have new videos every week about books and the geeky mom lifestyle. In today's video I'm going to be taking a look back at what I said were my 25 most anticipated science fiction and fantasy books of 2020. Did I read them? Did I like them? Were they as good as I thought they were going to be? Let's find out. Last year, I made two most anticipated videos. I made one with the 25 most anticipated science fiction and fantasy titles, and then I made another one with 26 most anticipated romance novels. So I'm going to make a video for the romance books, but in today's video, we're looking at those 25 titles. We're going to see how many of them did I actually read? Did I like them? How did this go? The way that we're going to do this is I'm going to go in chronological order from January as far as release date, or what I thought the release date was going to be when I made the video last year. And if you want to see the original video, I will link it up above for you. But we're going to go in chronological order. I'm going to show you the book. I'm going to tell you if I read it. And if I did read it, I'm going to tell you the star rating. And then stay tuned because we're going to do a little bit of playing with the statistics of this. It's pretty interesting. Starting with the first book in January, Lady Hotspur by Tessa Grattan. I read it. I gave it four and a half stars. Come Tumbling Down by Sean and McGuire. I read it. I gave it four stars. Dark and Deepest Red by Anna Marie McLemore. I read it. I gave it three and a half stars. Burn the Dark by S.A. Hunt. I read it. I gave it five stars. Red Hood by Alana K. Arnold. I read it. I gave it three stars. And I was probably being slightly generous, like now I would probably say two and a half, but I gave it three. Crescent City Book One, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass. I read it. I gave it four and a half stars. Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. I read it. I gave it six stars. So this one was a favorite of the year. The Midnight Lie by Marie Rutkowski. I read it. I gave it five stars. Havenfall by Sarah Holland. I read it. I gave it four stars. The City We Became by N.K. Jemisin. I have not yet read it, but I am hoping to do so by the end of the year. So maybe by the time this video goes up, I will have read it. But currently as filming this, it is on my physical TBR. Shorefall by Robert Jackson Bennett. I DNF'd it and did not give it a rating. Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. I read it. I gave it three and a half stars. The Girl in the Stars by Mark Lawrence. I have not yet read it and I do not have a physical copy, but I am still somewhat interested. Network Effect by Martha Wells. I read it. I gave it four and a half stars. Stealing Thunder by Alina Boyden. I read it. I gave it four and a half stars. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I have not read it and based on reviews I do not plan to read it. The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna. This one got pushed back due to COVID until next year. It is still on my TBR. Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. I read it. I gave it four stars. Where Dreams Descend by Janella Angelis. I read it. I gave it six stars. A favorite of the year. The Damned by Renee Audier. I read it. I gave it four stars. Forest of Souls by Lori M. Lee. I have not read it. I don't have a physical copy and I'm still kind of interested, but it's not super high on my priority list. The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. I read it. I gave it five stars. Return of the Thief by Megan Whalen Turner. I have not yet read it. I do not own a physical copy, but I definitely want to read this one and do plan on eventually acquiring it when it comes out in paperback to match the rest of my series. Blood and Honey by Shelby Mahurin. I have not yet read it, but it is on my physical TBR. And lastly, Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. This one was also postponed, possibly due to COVID, and should be coming out in 2021. I am maybe still interested, but my interest is probably not as high as it was. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the statistics of my most anticipated science fiction and fantasy books. I was actually impressed at how well this one went. Out of the 25 books that I listed, I have read 16 of them. I DNF'd one and two of them were postponed which means there were only six books that I haven't gotten to that I could have gotten to. Of those, two of them are on my physical TBR, definitely ones I'm still planning on reading. One of them I am no longer interested in, 
and three of them I still am somewhat too very interested in them but don't have physical copies. So I've actually read or interacted with most of the books I put on this list which is kind of cool actually. In terms of star ratings I do think it's interesting that my lowest rating was three stars although it's the one that I think should have been two and a half but in general I liked most of the books that I picked up. I had one that got three stars, two that got three and a half stars, four books got four stars, four books got four and a half stars, three books got five stars, and two books got six stars, which is what I give the favorite of the year. So in general, I feel like my hit rate on this was pretty high. Um, I think I did a fairly good job of picking books to put on this TBR. I will say part of the reason I've gotten to so many is I picked a lot of ones that I already had arcs of or books that I just knew I was going to want to read right away. So yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with how this went. I think I did a pretty good job of deciding what I was anticipating. And there weren't too many that I that were like throwaways. So pretty good. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on any of the books I talked about today. And for your question of the day, let me know if you know, how was it for the books you were most anticipating for this year in this category? Have you gotten to most of them? Are there ones that are still outstanding? Are there ones you're no longer interested in? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more, and if you want to support the work of the channel, check out the Patreon linked down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.